<laughs> and it looks like Strip Weathers is about to win yet another race. <sighs> How's the view back there, Floyd? Heh, <laughs> well you better not blink. I'm gonna rope blow right past you. The flag is out. It's the final stretch. Strip is in the lead. Out of the way, old man. No chance. Ah. <sighs> Holy cow! A new rookie has taken the win. And of course, folks, that rookie is none other than the than a race car who goes by the name Lightning McQueen. What the Whoa. No, I wish I had speed like that in my rookie season. Hey, Hall. Who is that? That's, um, Lightning McQueen. Uh, yeah. He's one of the rookies. Huh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Good job. All right. I'm going to exit the stage. <laughs> Hey, uh, Lightning McQueen, right? Uh, great race today. <laughs> Thanks, the king. You know, I can't wait until I'm a racer like you. What do you mean by that? I don't know. Guess it'd just be nice if I was blue as well. Uh, what? Anyways, see you next race. Bye. What the heck? Finally, here I am doing a uh, review on one of my Lightning McQueens. Like, I don't know if I've done a Lightning McQueen review on this channel before, but if so, it's about time that I finally did a review on at least one of Lightning McQueen's paint jobs. And we're finally starting that with Cars 1 Lightning McQueen. Of course, you know me. Lightning, um, of course, probably generically, is my favorite character in the franchise. Since y'all know me. Always loved him. Always loved his progression from a, from a jerk in the first movie to a, a nice guy at the end. And of course, this is the paint job that started it all hello guys welcome back to another day of 25 days of christmas and today we will finally be reviewing cars one lightning mcqueen about freaking time that i reviewed a lightning mcqueen i've never really for a while i haven't really wanted to do a review on a lightning mcqueen i wanted to review a little more obscure characters first um well i mean you know, other die casts, like maybe Lightning McQueen's friends, a couple background characters, etc. Um, <clears throat> also some side characters in the franchise, you name it. I still love Lightning and everything, but I wanted to uh, do some die casts. I like a little more before review, reviewing one of the most basic cars die casts, which as you all know is... Cars 1 Lightning McQueen. I don't know. I might have done a review on another McQueen before and just don't remember. But here we are, here we are finally doing a review on Cars 1 Lightning McQueen. It's about time to. Um, so, anyways. Um, let's get on with the review. By the way, this could be the first of many McQueen reviews as... You all know there's so many variants of lightning. So anyways, first off, you can see this guy's chipped. Unfortunately, it's the thing I have with most of my old car style casts. Um, they basically just become more chipped as they go on. Go on. Um, 
But anyways, um, so yeah, first of all, you can see a lightning bolt here. Pretty cool. Um, then there's the contingency sponsors. Of course, you guys have those. And there's the bolt. I wonder when he got that bolt on, I'm not gonna lie. And of course, the old Rusty's logo, which he hated at one point, but eventually it grew on him. Glad I did. You can see he he has the most unique rookie stripe I've ever seen. It's fully just on there on his whole back bumper. Um, one big gripe I have with playing as him in Cars the Video Game is that that is that the rookie stripe is still there. <laughs> It's like a small gripe I have. I know it's not really their fault or anything, but gosh, you know, coincidentally, um, all the NASCAR um, line releases, <coughs> at least the ones from 2021 that were re-released this year as metallic variants, also still have rookie stripes. I'm not a big fan of that. But anyways, um, so then you can see the expression you guys hear. Pretty nice, like that headlight, or he likes to call it's like a st sticker because race cars don't have headlights because the track is always lit. I finally did a good Owen Wilson impression. What do you What do you guys know? It took me just repeating one of Lightning's lines to get that right. I I don't know, guys. I do kind of want to do some scene recreations. But on one hand, it would take a whole bunch of time, and on another, um, I also, um, am trying to figure out whether I should just use the original audio or use my voice from, I don't know. If you guys want me to do it, let me know what you guys would like in the comments below. I'm likely gonna do, um, anyways, let's start comparing him to some variants. Now, I'm not gonna compare him to every Lightning McQueen die cast I have in this room because if I did I'd be here all day um there is another Lightning McQueen that's supposed to be in 25 days of Christmas so that will come on the very last day you'll see him soon enough anyways let's compare him to Tumbleweed McQueen first why because you know it's the same Lightning McQueen again you know. um he looks pretty unhappy Though I too would not like to have a piece of broccoli on my head. <laughs> um so anyways. Let's see here. Um It's basically just the whole entire car's one line queen paint job, but with uh, a tumbleweed on his head. Um one min one minor gripe I have with him is what happened to the tar on his lucky sticker. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's a little small inconsistency. Mattel is known for me for having a bunch of inconsistencies. <clears throat> but anyways, um, so next up, we're gonna compare compare him to Cruising McQueen because like, why not? As a kid, I never liked the fact that Cruising McQueen didn't have a spoiler on him. Though now I realize, eh, totally normal. Um. It's a pretty cool paint job from McQueen, you know. Basic, but cool. I now had canon that sometimes Lightning will occasionally just wear this paint job in the town sometimes when he's not racing. Or maybe he'll just go undercover to hide from his fans using this. I don't know. But they'll probably recognize him considering he was on TV when he was wearing that. Um, probably have to try something new. And then, of course, we have Raider Springs Lightning Queen, which was a mix of both. I always like Raider Springs Lightning Queen. It's a pretty cool paint job. Um, it was mostly used in Race Orama and Mare National, if you guys have played those games. No longer has the rookie stripe because he's a big boy now. <laughs> After the uh, 2005 season, as I like to head cannon. Um... I had canned that Cars the video game was in 2006, considering at the end it did say 2006 Piston Cup Champion Lightning McQueen. Um, I don't know. All right, so then we're moving on to the only Cars 2 Lightning McQueen I have at the moment, World Grand Prix Lightning McQueen. Um, 
pretty cool paint job. Really like the um, flame slash lightning bolt design on the side. I also kind of, I'm not gonna lie, I like the winged spoiler. I mean, you know, I also like the typical spoiler lightning has, but I don't know, the wing just looks badass. I, I know a lot of people like to joke about um, World Grand Prix being um, Lightning McQueen if he upgrade to a next gen design, and I can see why. Basically, um, if Lightning were to upgrade to a next gen, I'd appreciate it if he just like took this one design and put next gen tires on there and still look like his old typical self, but as a next gen now and able to compete with Jackson Storm finally <laughs> um you know i doubt that would really um help him too much it would just help him catch up to speed so anyways and then next up we're gonna move on to rusty's mcqueen um i really like the rusty's mcqueen you can see this one's chipped a lot unfortunately um i really like the lightning bolt logo even though i missed the old rusty's logo he eventually got that back on later in the movie. Again, missing the rookie stripe now. Weird thing to me is, um, most uh, most cars for stock cars now have their number under their headlight instead of on it, which is something that actually happened in NASCAR back when the Gen 6 era started. Um, back in uh, 2006 when the movie came out, um, most most NASCARs had had their um, numbers on their stickers, their their headlight stickers. Um, weird thing to me is the number still there. If you guys can't see it, it's still on the tail light. I don't know. And I don't have cars three light in the queen, so. Anyways, um. So next up, we have On the Road McQueen. Why am I comparing him before NASCAR McQueen? I have no idea. Probably because I'm going to compare 2024 NASCAR McQueen to him as well. Anyways. Of course, On the Road McQueen looks pretty decent. Of course, McQueen's now on a road trip. Um, And he's wearing his old Radiator Springs 500 and a half logo. He's still think that's what it is i don't know pretty cool paint job when lightning's not uh racing i'll have him wearing the on the road paint job though when he is racing i'll have him wearing the nascar paint job as seen in my driving around the world series um in a uh, the wild race lightning was racing and yes he's still racing in my universe don't ask um he's still he's basically wearing his nascar paint job though the next time i do a racing plot i'll have lightning wearing his new nascar paint job um but in uh uh the trouble with Smokey's cousin i had him wearing the on the road paint job so basically off weeks when Lightning's not racing, he'll be wearing the on-road scheme. When he is racing, though, he'll be wearing the NASCAR scheme. Um, gotta say, I love NASCAR McQueen a lot. Um, really love that they include the seven-time champ thing on the on the side. Um, pretty cool paint job overall. <laughs> I, I can't help but love this so much. Don't ask me why, I just can't. Um, he does have a pretty good competition with uh, 2024 NASCAR McQueen, though. I'm uh, I'm still debating on which. I probably like the um, older NASCAR McQueen because, one, I prefer the rims on this one more. Um, second off, I, um, I kind of just like... I kind of just like the lightning bolt on there, but it's still really nice to have a tribute to Willie's Butte on the side and on the logo. Just wish there was still a bit of a lightning bolt, that's all. Nothing wrong with him, though. He's still pretty cool. Plus, I love how shiny he is. And I'm pretty happy to have gotten him. At first, NASCAR McQueen was going to be the only NASCAR 
paint job I got because I wasn't interested in getting a metallic variant. But then I look at the rims and thought, what the heck? So anyways, yeah, that'll do it for my review on Cars 1 Lightning McQueen. Um, thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. And please don't forget to like and subscribe. Come back for another day of 25 Days of Christmas. And anyways, this is Kirby Tanks and Gaming Productions 39. See y'all next time.